So we're in the more web more pages folder, extra page. How do we link to the extra page image in the images folder? Well, first let's make a link on where we want to go. So let's let's go here after the break and we'll type in link to page in images folder. And we want to make that a link, so do a href equals, okay, and at the end of it, we want to close our tag. Now, I told you to just do dot dot forward slash. Now we got to go and find what, what folder was it in? Okay, starting from the my website level down, here we're in the my website folder. It's in subfolder one, which is the images, okay, so first. We type in images and then forward slash. Now let's look in the images folder. What was the page called? It's called extra page image. So we type in extra page image dot html and that's it. So we save it, file, save, and we've got to refresh our page. Now you see this link, link to page in images folder. So let's look at our code one more time. What do we tell it to do? We said this dot dot forward slash told it to start in the my website folder and work your way down. Next to look in the images folder and then in the images folder look for this extra page image dot html. So when we click on that link you can see right now we're in the my website folder in the images folder extra page image dot html. So that's how you do it. So actually, all relative URLs, you could preface with dot dot forward slash, and then if it's in a subfolder, you can put the subfolder name, and then the file name, and you can keep working your way down. So if it's in a folder, in a folder, in a folder, you can have as many subfolders as you want. Just remember to separate each one with a forward slash. And this dot dot forward slash tells it, hey, start in the top level directory, and work your way down. Every time a forward slash, that's a new folder name and at the end you put the file name in there so actually you could do all your um, relative URLs like this if you like uh, no matter where you're at it just kinda keeps things easier for you um, but this is just another way to use relative URLs and you can see that I've also done an image name JPEG so you can use the same dot dot forward slash subfolder subfolder and end it with an image name so if you're linking to an image you can use this type of URL and if you're linking to a file I haven't said this in the other videos but if you want people to download a file it's just a hyperlink and you can hyperlink it using any of the hyperlink techniques but you can also use it using the top level down URL coding so it's dot dot forward slash then any of the subfolders it may be in and then you end with filename.exe and when somebody clicks on that link it's going to prompt them to download the file so that's the easiest way for you to have people to download in files it's the same thing as a hyperlink to a page you're just hyperlinking to a file and it will prompt them to download that file and they'll have a chance to save it so the three things that you're normally going to use hyperlinks for are hyperlink so someone clicks on a link they go to a page or you're going to just use a URL to display an image or you're going to have a hyperlink that when someone clicks on they download a file. So I hope you can use and implement this top level down URL coding. It's uh, helpful if, you're, if you've got pages within subfolders and you want to link to pages in folders that are a higher level than the subfolder you're in. Use this type of coding. You can use this type of coding uh, even for relative pages in the same folder but if you're buried down a bunch of folders and you want to kind of go back up and link the pages in the top folder and don't want to do an absolute URL, use this type of relative URL and it's going to come in handy for you. I noticed that I was using this code a lot in building the Internet Profit Mentor website after I recorded a couple of the videos and I didn't even originally think to tell you about this but since I've been using it a lot I thought well let me tell people about this and basically dot dot forward slash tells it start at the top and work its way down.